You're listening to part of the Ghost Riders show. You're listening to part of the Ghost Riders show. Hey everybody, welcome to today's podcast. This is Pato welcoming you and thanking you because God knows I know you have options. So, um, had my couple days off, now I'm back on the grind. But for most of you, it's the weekend. So hey, uh, enjoy it, make it a good one. Take your time off, spend it with your loved ones, do what you, do you, do what you gotta do, you know? And like I said, I'm back on the grind, but I decided to take a break and uh, spend it with my favorite peeps, you know, my listeners. You listening to me right now, you are my favorite listener. I like you just the way out. (laughs) We already went over that, didn't we? Alrighty, so um, uh, what have I been doing? Well, uh, let's see. I've been... I've been down with OPP, basically. You know, I've been listening to other people's podcasts. Uh, WTF, Mark Marin is one of my favorite. In fact, uh, I don't know him. He doesn't know me, obviously. But uh, what I'm saying is he's uh, he's become a mentor. I mean, and it's funny because uh, all his podcasts where he talks about moving and, you know, changing from one place to another... Uh, hit a uh, hit, hit, you know, hit home with me because I was in the process of moving and uh, getting acquainted with my new place. So you know, relo- the the whole thing it's um it's challenging, and uh, I uh, right now I'm working on that. You know, removing dead trees. Uh, so gotta finish that up. I have to plant a new one before the HOA gets on my case. And, um, oh man, just a lot of work. So, in between times, like I said, I've been listening to a lot of other people's podcasts. Uh, Mark Maron's one of them. Fat Man and Batman, whenever they have a new episode. Um, Kevin Smith, you know, that's another. These are people that I consider mentors. And recently, Joe Rogan. Now, Joe Rogan's awesome. I mean, the man's always working. I think he podcasts in his sleep. Because, I mean, my Spreaker app, uh, it's always giving me, you know, notifications then. New episode from Joe Rogan. And I'm like, whoa, didn't he just do one five seconds ago? No, but no, in in all seriousness, I mean, uh, k Dog. You know, when we were talking about starting the whole podcast thing, he was like, hey, listen to Joe Rogan, man. Uh, he's a pretty good podcaster, pretty awesome. He's got, you know. And I, I, I listened to his podcast, and I, to me, Joe Rogan was more of an acquired taste at first. And, uh, you know, the man is awesome. I respect him. In fact, he, I consider him, even though I don't know him, he's one of my mentors as well. Um, Here's the thing, though. I I didn't realize why Joe Rogan was such an acquired taste until an episode that I heard over the weekend, over my weekend. It's an episode with Tom Segura. In that episode, uh, they comment about the passing of the the owner of the comedy store, uh, Mitzi Shore, Polly Shore's mom, if you don't know. But anyway, Mitzi Shore owned a club called the comedy store a lot of comics got their start there um well talking about the comedy store led to joe rogan mentioning carlos mencia and then it hit me boom that's why listening to joe rogan was such an acquired taste and i had a hard time because back in the day before i actually paid attention and did the research Carlos Mencia was a comic I liked, and I saw Joe Rogan as this hater that was coming to attack him. Uh, It's funny how uh, 
the internet just put Carlos Mencia on blast, right? Obviously, no more mind of Mencia. Where is he now? Uh, I Probably I hear he's still doing tours. Hopefully, he's not taking other comics material. But at the time, obviously, Carlos Mencia was my... Hey, that was my boy. I, I And I, I knew who Carlos Mencia was. Joe Rogan, I, I didn't know who Joe Rogan was. And all of a sudden, he was coming at him, attacking him, accusing him of stealing material. Now, uh, in all fairness, okay, it happens more often than, than we care to think. I mean, you know, comics steal other comics material. Carlos Mencia isn't the only one that's done that and probably not the only one that will ever do it. I mean, the, the problem is, is that now we live in the age of the internet. The age where YouTube uh, will usually have something that will put you in evidence if you steal other people's material. So, uh, actually, it wasn't until that episode that I was listening with, uh, you know, Joe Rogan and Tom Segura, that it hit me that, you know what, all these times that uh, I like Joe Rogan, and but there was that like, oh, he's an acquired taste for me. I realized it's because I, I hadn't realized that... Um, I was holding on to that kind of like uh, he didn't destroy my favorite comic. My favorite comic uh, at the time, Carlos destroyed himself. You know, uh, the more the more research I did, the more radio interviews, uh, uh, watching YouTube material from other comics, where you know you put it side by side with what. Well, what Mencia was doing and you're like I remember hearing that for the first time and laughing my ass off and this time I was listening to it and I didn't find it funny I found it disgusting I found it like whoa basically he just took that comics bit and not even bothered to change a word just the, de the delivery you know it's a good actor I gotta give him that I mean obviously he gets up there and uh, the delivery something that some of us podcasters are learning where i'm new obviously i've only been doing this since december and uh, the, the i'm still trying to find myself in this podcasting in this ocean of podcasts you know in this sea i'm trying to find my identity as uh, pato the ghost writer you know i'm trying to this is how i do it my delivery my my thing you know so uh Bottom line, as I was saying, I mean, you know, yeah, Carlos, obviously, very good actor because uh, he's able to take other people's material and put that attitude on it, you know, which uh, there's this other comedian, uh, this uh, lady, uh, I believe her last name is Morgan. I saw one bit there where um, basically he just took every word. And now I don't want to turn my podcast right now to you know relive and you know that's in the past obviously you know uh, Carlos Mencia isn't where he used to be and probably will not regain that popularity ever again for what he did I mean you know it is what it is but what I'm saying is if I'm saying anything is that uh, I realized that um I used to have a hard time listening to Joe Rogan because I would see him as the the guy who took down my favorite comic, you know, he attacked him. And now I, I'm saying big ups to Joe Rogan. I mean, that took a lot of guts. That that you know, cuz I mean, most people would be like, "Oh, well, like I said, in all fairness, other a lot of comics steal material from others." And it could have been like, hey, you know, who cares, you know? But, you know, the, he did the right thing. And sometimes doing the right thing, people will look at you like you're the bad guy. Like you're the, you're the hating SOB, you know? Because obviously that's how I looked at him. But now I'm thinking, you know what? Hey, he did the right thing. Carlos shouldn't have been Carlos Ned, whatever his name is. Shouldn't, shouldn't have been stealing those jokes. Um, so, um, yeah. 
that's uh, one of the things that, ah, uh, you know, listening to other podcasts, uh, you develop this, uh, it's, it's informative, it's, it's crazy, it's trying to find my identity here too, you know, obviously part of the Ghost Rider. Uh, when I first started, I started uh, just, you know, whatever, you know, talking about work situations, which I kind of stayed away from because uh, uh, most of the time, every time I think about anything that is work-related and I want to curse, and obviously, uh, Pot of the Ghost Rider became a rated E platform so that I could freely work with my kids. Now, see, that's another thing that came from other podcasters, uh, Nintendo and, uh, wow, my goodness, and this other guy's, uh, wow, my brain, you know, it's funny, <laughs> I tell mom, like, oh, gosh, uh, I spent time with her again, and I, I don't know if you remember, I said she was diagnosed with a moderate case of uh, Alzheimer's. I was telling her, we all forget things, and, and we do. I mean, if we don't listen to something on a regular basis, or we uh, you know, we have a lot in our mind, we forget minor details, people's names. Uh, but, okay, now, 5 to 1 podcast. That was the other podcast that inspired me to take the cursing out of my personal podcast. Now, Cursory Overload, apparently, that's where I go to spit out every explicit that I couldn't spit out here or that I wouldn't spit out here. Uh, but that it is what it is. Uh, by the way, Cursory Overload Episode 8, if you haven't heard it, check it out. You can Spreaker. I would love if you would download the Spreaker app so you could, you know, it's a little more interaction, you know, and you could follow PDGP, which is part of the Ghost Rider Productions, which is what puts us out there. And, um, yeah, uh, I'm coming on, uh, you know, it's, like I said, one of the things I like to do is uh, bite-sized podcasts that people can listen to during their break. As you can see, I'm recording, or you can hear, I'm recording this during my break. So now that break's almost over, I got to go back, and uh, I just wanted to touch base, wish you all a happy weekend, and uh, talk about my mentors and you know my podcasting mentor so I want to give a big shout out to Joe Rogan first of all because you know first of all he looks like he's the hardest working man on the planet there I mean like I said every time I turn around new episode is popping up so uh, big ups to Joe Rogan you know and uh, like I said much respect um, Mark Marin, WTF much respect, big ups to you. Uh, I think he's in Europe right now do, during his. I think he was going to Dublin or Ireland or someplace over there. But uh, bottom line, that's the other one. And of course, Fat Man on Batman, Kevin Smith and Mark Bernadin. Mark Bern, Mark Bernadin, Bernard. Ah, there we go. Mark, he, he knows. <laughs> it's funny because. Uh, we were talking about that, how uh, usually people just call and they just uh, give uh, props to Kevin Smith and you, they forget about Mark, you know. But uh, no, Mark's very, like I said, a very smart man, a uh, writer, a comic book writer. You know, like I said, people that I don't personally know, but I call mentors because ever since I started this podcasting thing, they're the ones I've been listening to, and uh, hey, what can I say? So, y'all have a good weekend. Live each day like it's your last one, because it very well could be. Take the time to live, you know, be with your loved ones, spend time with them, tell them you love them, show them you love them, because that kind of stuff is important. Uh, what else can I tell you? Have fun. Because if we're not having fun, what's the point, right? Yeah. So, uh, y'all have a good one.